Hello everybody, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Um, here we are, once again, on the map. And today we're gonna focus on uh, a little combination of some strength building and some stretching. So we'll be some elements here and there um, where we're working a little, putting forth um, some serious effort and then trying to just as quickly flip the brain over into that sense of relaxation and surrender mode. Um, not just as good practice for the body to have some recuperation time built into your practice, but it's really good for your mind to go from these moments of intensity right into uh, these sort of softer, sweeter moments as well. It's good for your nervous system in particular. So, that will be the focus. Um, kind of a little sweet and spicy <laughs> today is what we'll call this one. And we're going to start this practice in Upavishta Konasana. So this is a straddle position posture. Don't have to go very wide with the feet. You could even keep things within the confines of your mat if you wanted to. Just depending on how you're feeling. It is a big pose right off the bat. So just start in the shallow end. Kind of work your way in there deeper when it seems appropriate. Hands out in front to support you. If you have a yoga block at home, you could put your block right here and forearms on it. Otherwise, if the forearms can relax all the way down and rest there, bring the elbows to the mat and let the back of the head just relax. You're gonna drop your gaze down and in and make your neck really nice and long. little bit of neck rolling or for those of you really bendy people if your forehead is down here you can lock your forehead on the ground same would be true of rocking your forehead on your block or you can just turn your knuckles in and let your head rest there use your thumbs to give yourself a little temple massage along oh, the skull line, the hairline there. Encouraging this letting go, this process of offering up the attachments that we have to these sensations in the body, attachments we have to whatever's going on in our mind. This is your opportunity to not react to all of that, but rather just observe. Slow down your breathing. It makes it easier to find these observations when you're paying close attention to your breath. Notice the way that the body starts to communicate. You can feel the relaxation, the release. That feeling of surrender with every exhale out, taking you a little bit deeper into the stretch. And let's stay right here for about five more Full deep inhales and exhales. Anytime you're ready, chest comes up slowly, walk the hands back in, and feel your weight shift back and your sits bones will slide back underneath your body. Nice 
and tall through the spine. Take the left knee open to the side. So we're gonna put that left foot right here and then we'll turn to the right and fold over the right leg. This feels like seated tree pose and we're turned at the diagonal. So the stretch that we're looking for is gonna be right here in the lower quadrant. Left side of the back, wrapping around into those lower ribs, side body muscles, obliques out here in that little outer hip love handle zone. You can reach with one or both hands. Keep turning your chest, your heart center, and your belly down toward that right thigh and breathe. Three. Two and one. Inhale. Lift the chest up. Go ahead. Release on the exhale. Swing the right leg now up and over to cross. So I'm going to hook the heel outside of my bottom knee and then we'll twist to the right a little bit. Elbow again. Can hook around the knee or you can just hug the arm around the thigh completely and sit up nice and tall. Move your gaze behind you as you exhale. Twisting a little deeper with each breath out. Don't force that rotation. Instead, think about relaxing into it. Three, two, one more time. And one. We'll unwind, take a little counter twist to the other side. Back to the middle, lean back, untangle the legs. Here comes the first little bit of spicy now, taking it into Navasana boat pose. There are modifications, heels can be down, toes can be level with the knees, whatever works for you. I'm gonna go full on boat here, gaze up, fingertips up, toes up, breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, we're gonna take it down a little or a lot. Just lower as much as you can without giving up. A bit closer to a half boat. Four, three, two, one. Now sit all the way up. Oh, inhale, good. And on your exhale, release. Right knee comes out to the side, heel goes in. Turn to the left. Big breath, Janu Shirshasana. Fold over the left. Rotation through the right side body is going to bring that stretch around into the low back and the outer hip. We're not forcing, we're not pulling, we're just softening into the shape of the pose. Only place where you really need to be engaged right now is in the bundles, right? What are the bundles again? It's this little deep, low down, tiny little inner core muscles. Think about everything behind and below your belly button down to the root of your body, to the base of your body, and pull up from your pelvic floor to your navel. Keeping that little engagement is always gonna help keep you safe when it comes to deep stretches, especially here when we're working high up in the inner flexors and the groins. Wanna keep the engagement so that we don't go too far because if you've ever pulled a groin muscle, you know. That is uh, not a treat <laughs> for anybody. So engage down low and then relax everywhere else. Three, two, one. Slowly roll it up on the inhale. And take that leg and swing it over. You can make a little adjustment here. Both sits bones are still on the mat. If that's not true, wiggle around until it is. We're hooking or hugging right elbow to the outside. Arda Matsyantarasana is the name of this twist. Half Lord of the Fishes pose. Sit up tall and breathe. Exhale. Work it around. So try to keep your lungs, your rib cage, nice and open, just like a fish, right? Your ribs are really like your gills. And so you want to be able to breathe and expand there. Don't collapse through the heart. Keep sitting tall. Two. 
And one. Unwind. We'll take it around. Other side. Pausing for a little counter stretch. And then back to the middle. Legs untangle. Lift them up. Another ten right here. Navasana. Nine. Eight. Keep your gaze up. Keep your chin up off your chest. Seven. Breathe. Six. Five. Four, take it a little lower if you can. Three, take it way lower if you can. Two, maybe heels and shoulder blades just hover. And one, you gotta sit back up. Good, this time tuck the ankles through. Let's stay in the spicy zone for a minute here. As we heat things up, we'll go right back to downward facing dog. Shuffle through the heels once or twice. A few quick Bends in the knees, and we're on our way out to high plank on your next breath in. Right. Big inhale here. One push up on your exhale. Could you use your knees? Damn right you can. Back up. Turn hips and heels to the left. Modification would be to just put that left knee down on the ground and open up side plank. Otherwise, you're going to roll and stack Valshi Stasana, full side plank, and breathe. Three, two, one. Back to the middle. One push up. Elbows tight to the ribs. Turn it the other side. Hips and heels to the right. Open to the left. Breathe. Two. One. Once more. High to low. Exhale. This time come through. Up dog or cobra. Take it all the way through the full sun salutation. Back to downward facing dog and exhale. Move the gaze forward. Keep the momentum going here. Half lift and lengthen, step hop, or jump to the top of the mat. Flat back when you get there and fold. Reverse and rise. We come up to stand. Stretching out at the top. Make a little wardrobe adjustment there. Side to side once or twice. Shake it all around and then down you go. Fold again. Half lift. Step walk or hop. Once more, halfway down and pull through to up dog or cobra. Chaturanga, Urdhamukha, back to Anghumukha, down dog. Right leg lifts high. Exhale, swing your right knee forward and bring it into half pigeon. Now back into some of that sweet softness. Slowing back down, shin across the mat. Left hip bones turning down toward the ground as you come as far into a forward fold here as you'd like. Engage where it's necessary. Give those low belly muscles a squeeze. Relax wherever it's possible. Head, neck, shoulders, jaw. None of that needs to be working here. a little twist to my pigeon and if you want to join me you can or you can stay exactly where you're at no problem if you're twisting it's the left arm it's going to come through here and thread the needle and then bring the left ear down and stretch the right hand forward even more and just hold that will intensify the hip stretch just be aware so if you don't need any more intensity Skip it. Pay attention to the rise and fall of your back. Good. We're moving in three. If you need to unwind, the upper body, take your time to do so. Two, we'll start bringing the chest back up. 
and one, and then we go right back into a little spicy here. Tuck the back toes, right leg's gonna go up and back to three-legged dog. Just kick straight back, doesn't have to be a very high kick. Knee to your nose, shift out to plank, hold. Building some heat, hold it right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back up again, inhale. And right elbow to right knee and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back up. You know we're gonna do the left side, of course. Swing under, tap, make that connection if you can. Four, three, two, one. Make it high. Step through, find a low lunge. Once your right foot is forward, deep breath in and bring the chest up. We'll go to a high lunge position. Could you modify with the back knee down? Yes, of course you can. You don't have to ask me for permission, right? Ask yourself for permission. Do what you need to do. Hands sweep back five times. Taking some dynamic movement here. Bringing the upper body into it. Exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale up. Exhale back, strong legs. Even though your inner thighs are apart, imagine what it would feel like to squeeze them together here. Yeah, that's using your bandhas. Four, one more. Five, stay low. Left hand comes to the mat, right arm winds open for one big twist. Now look down at that left hand and plant your palm. You don't want to be on your fingertips here. We want a flat hand. I'm going to roll on the back foot and ta-da, right into that side plank again. Modified version is to put the knee down. Breathe three, two, one. High plank, one push up. Whoo! Inhale, twist it the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Push up halfway down, pull through to up dog. Push back to down dog. Ah, and then back to the sweetness here. Left leg up. And we'll swing it to half pigeon. Ekapada Raja Kapotas. Take a look back at your right leg and just make sure it's not doing anything too wonky back there. We want to think about hip bone, knee, top of the foot or the heel all come in one straight line. So sometimes that foot gets a little bit pigeon-toed or splayed out and that can affect the entire posture. So just take a look at your alignment. Right frontal hip bone is pretty close to this left inner ankle bone. For those of you hyperbendy folks out there, your foot might be way up here and that's okay too somewhere in between those ends of the spectrum there's going to be a little space for all of us you find your own little place in pigeon today close your eyes if it helps you relax and we'll stay for about a minute just going to give you a little quiet time here to breathe Feel like twisting, right arm is gonna sneak through. Threaded needle position, left hand stretches forward. Soften up your glutes, relax your low back. Feel the weight of your body just melting into the pose.
gently. Start working your way back up, okay. Up to flat palms, here we go. Find that little fire. Pull the navel in and let's heat up again. Left leg up nice and high. Quick shake out there if you need it. Come to the nose with the knee and hold five. Four, try to get those two things as close together as physically possible. Two, one, take it back up. Knee to the left elbow, tap and hold. Five, four, you're strong, keep breathing. Three, two, one, take it up. Right elbow, twist, tap, Touch together and breathe. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Here we go. Stepping through, we find a low lunge first. Anchor through the back heel. Legs pulling toward one another. Good, strong, solid position in the lower body. Then we add the arms. Good. This dynamic movement's really taking place up top. Not much is happening below the waistline here. Five times. There's one. Exhale, sweep back. Two. Heel up. Three. Again, two more. Two. Once more up. This time as you come down, right hand to the ground, left arm reaches up. Little twist. Take a look down, reset the right hand. All five fingers point forward. It's a flat palm. Roll and stack. Vashistasana, shoulder right over the wrist, side plank pose, three, two, one, plank or push up here, maybe you want to do two or three push ups, it's up to you, take it to the other side, stack it up and breathe, five, four, three, two, one, hands on the ground, halfway, up dog cobra, back to downward facing dog, exhale completely, gaze up, step walker hop to the top. Let's do rapid fire sun salute here, all the way up, Surya Namaskara, exhale all the way back down, Ooh. half lift in length, and exhale, take it back. Always the option to skip these vinyasas. If they just add up a little too much in your shoulders, hold the plank or down dog instead. Step, walk, or jump through to a seat. Back to our boat again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. On 5, let's get low. Even lower for 4. Even lower for 3. Hang in there for 2. And one, sit back up, breathe. Tuck the ankles through, rock it back out. We've got one last little sequence here. As you come through tabletop here for a moment, you might just wanna move your spine around, some cats and cows, swing the hips a little bit. Oh, just arching and rounding the back. This helps us kind of reset the neutral spine somewhere in between those two extremes of arched and round. There's this nice flat back. All right, toes under, hips up. One more down dog. We'll probably do a few more down dogs to be honest, but <laughs> this one will move us into our final sequence. And we'll start with that right leg back up high again. Get a nice deep breath. One knee to the nose, this time just tap, inhale out, it's one breath. One knee to the right elbow, tap, doot. Try the left, cross under, use your obliques, good. Take it back up, step through, find your lunge. Just like you did last time, arms are gonna come all the way up, Anjaneyasana. One time, sweep those hands back. Hold, right here with me now, five. Up onto the ball mound of the back foot. Four. Should be feeling how strong your glutes are. Three. If you're feeling it, stay put. If you want more, come off that back foot. Meet me in warrior three for another two. And one. Warrior threes. Slowly step back to meet us. Everybody chest up. 
Take it out to warrior two. Back heel drops. Little positioning with the feet might come in handy. Widen the stance. Fingertips to fingertips, reach across your heart center. Get down a little further into your legs. Reach up and back. Here's kind of a soft, sweet moment as you take this nice, easy side body stretch. Reverse warrior. And exhale all the way to side angle pose. Go as deep into this one as you can. Right hand can reach for the ground outside or inside your foot. Elbow can come to the thigh. Lots of different options. Left arm reaches up and overhead. If I have any binders in the house, you can go underneath the leg, make the bind, work on peeling the chest back open again. If binds don't work very well for your shoulders, skip them. It's okay. Not required. Just an option. Two. And one. We'll come all the way back up on the inhale. Let the legs straighten out for a moment. Good. Arms reach out as well. We're going to turn all ten toes to the long edge of the mat. Pivot. Hands on the hips. A little open heart stretch. Look up. And then down. All the way down. Ah, here's another opportunity. Just enjoy the sweetness of a good inversion. Letting your head hang heavy and soft. Once again, we're letting all the tension out of the upper back. No need to be tight there. Actually kind of comfortable right here. And then just when you get comfortable, we got a little more work to do. Inhale, bring your chest up. Good. All right, we're going to start just moving the weight side to side between the feet. See how that feels. If you have finicky knees or you just know that this isn't going to work well for your knee, I, I am wearing a little knee brace today myself, so I'm going to kind of stay in the shallow end with this. But if you're feeling like you could. Get a little spicy here one more time. Then you take your hands up and you're going to start to just move that side to side in a deep lateral squat. I'm pulling my elbow to my knee every time. Yeah. Taking it back and forth. We'll call that five already. Six. We're going for ten. Side to side. Each rotation is one. There's seven. Side to side. Eight. Keep going. Nine. I feel like we better do two more just in case my count was up. We'll go nine again. One more time. Right, left, there's ten. Stand it up through the middle. Stretch. Right. Take your warrior two back to the front one last time. Hit that reverse stretch again. And this time we'll send the hands down to the mat. Your choice. Vinyasa, push-ups. Maybe just a plank for a few breaths. Hit your downward facing dog. And let's get the hard work out of the way. What do you say? We'll finish the left side. Left leg up high. One knee to the nose. Just a quick tap and kick. One to the left elbow. Boop. One more time. Right side. Kick in, step through. Here's your lunge. Steady. Make sure you're sturdy in the feet and pull up from there. Every posture is grounded through the foundation, right? So just like all things in life, we start from the bottom and build up. Breath in, hand sweep back one time. Hold with me here. Now you can stay for five. Left glutes in particular, fired up here. Four, happy there, stay put. Otherwise, how about a little warrior three on three? Don't open that right side, keep the hips closed. You got it, two. 
We gotta come back and meet our friends and we're gonna do it with control, slow. Perfect, arms come up. Out to warrior two, back heel slides down, feet come apart a little bit. Hips are open and we're stretching long through the sides of the body. Reverse, take it up and back, inhale. Exhale the side angle pose. We get another five breath hold here. Try to relax wherever possible. Four. Binders you can bind. Modification, bring that elbow up on the knee if you need a little bit of support. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Push through those strong feet. Stretch everything out and rotate all 10 toes right there. Might want to shorten up the stance. You feel like you're about to slide into the splits. Bring your feet in a little bit. Grab your hips and inhale, gaze up. Exhale, fold over your fingertips, take it down to the bottom. Let's stretch the shoulders this time. Baba Hasta, lock the fingers behind the back and then drop the knuckles away from the spine and just turn your head softly from side to side. that when you're ready. Find those few moments of just surrendering upside down. You know, what's never a bad thing is fresh oxygen to your brain. <laughs> it's, it's never going to be a bad idea. And putting your head below your heart is the easiest way to make that happen. So thanks for doing something good for your head today. All right, chest comes up. Start moving a little bit side to side. Just get those knees loosened up. Hip flexors loosened up. Good, bring it up and then just start to go side to side, elbow to knee, same thing. Lateral squat position moving. Left to right, right to left. Three, four. Now, if you wanted to get big with the arms, sure, you can swing and touch opposite feet, whatever you want to do. Six, seven, eight. Just keep it low. Low center of gravity, booty low here. Good. Nine, nine, one more. Ten, and ten. Stand up, stretch out. I need to push the hips forward a little bit. Don't lock your knees. Turn it back to warrior two. Last big power stance posture of the class right here. Flip it, reverse it up, viparita, and send it down. Final vinyasa of the class right here. Take it through. Step walk or exhale, hop to a seat. When you hit your down dog, we'll come through very last time. I promise. Boat for 10. Nine, Navasana, chest up, gaze up, lift, lift, lift. Seven, six, hollow out the low belly, drop, lower, five, lower, four, shoulder blades and heels hovering, three, two, and this one, you don't have to come back up. You can just relax all the way out into a full body stretch. I'm gonna let you stay right there for a few moments and soak that up. I will make a quick adjustment here. All right, when you're ready, arms come down, knees come in. Let's bring it all in for a squeeze. It's all sweet stuff from here on out. Just a few little closing poses. Push your knees around in a circular motion and it really doesn't matter which way you go. It'll change direction momentarily, so just 
guiding the hips around. Feel that you're rolling over the lumbar spine. And switch, go the other way. Just doing a little bit of some mobility work here at the end. And we'll set the feet comfortably back down on the mat on your next exhale. Good. Leave your left leg alone. Just let it stay right there. You're going to pick that right knee back up. And now some circular motion here where I'm just letting the knee drop out to the side and then I'm pulling sweep back through the middle. If I have any Pilates fans out there, this is somewhat Pilates-esque style movement. Usually in Pilates you do this with a straight leg and you could do that if you wanted. But just take it around the circle nice and slow. Notice if there is any spots where you have a little hiccup or a little hitch in your giddy up there. That's good information. Your body's trying to tell you something. So pay attention. I like to put two fingers right in my hip crease, just inside of it a little bit, and actually get a sense of how tight the psoas is by pressing. You'll feel there's a little kind of sheath of Oh, of muscle there that is tight and usually hard as a rock. And when you push on it like I'm doing right now, you can tell it's hard for me to talk because oh, it kind of takes your breath away. It should not feel fantastic if you're pressing on the right spot. And that's totally common. I don't really know anyone who's got an exceptionally open psoas. That's just not something that's easy to work on, but it is important. Reverse, go around the other way a couple times. Slow. You're also getting that little compression around the hamstring insertion point as you take it around that circle. <laughs> One more time. And then just bring it back in, set your right foot down. Ooh. Lift the left side up, all right? Here we go, you can put your fingertips in the crease of your left hip if you'd like. Find that spot, it's right from the hip crease, move in about a half an inch and push. And then keep some pressure there and start external rotation first. So go up, down, in, and around. Just like that. should be able to feel all those little articulations. Oh. Two more. All right, next time you come around that circle, just set the foot down, pause for a moment, and step your heels in a little closer. We're going to finish really simple here. Nice, sweet, easy bridge. Hips come up. Keep your glutes relaxed. Just push up. And then slowly lower each and every vertebra down. Let's do two more just like that. Nice and easy. Press up to breathe. Maybe the arms go overhead. down. Try it one more time. Ready? Set. Push up. And down. 
This time as you come to the ground, let's sweep the hands back. Let's bring one hand on the heart center or just somewhere near the solar plexus where your ribs come together. One hand on the navel. Knees fall open into Baddha Konasana and now just rest here. Slow your breath all the way back down. Now, if this is not a comfortable place for you to really surrender into Shavasana, then extend your legs out, let your arms drop. Just find that place that is the best possible place for you. And a few exhales out the mouth, just to let any heat and tension completely go. Speaking of letting go, I'm going to let you guys just go into the Shavasana now and stay there for as long as you'd like. Please take all the benefits of your practice, soak them up, be happy and grateful for your time on the mat today. I'm happy and grateful that you're here. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Namaste.